हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाउ आर यू पीपल गुड ओके बाय द वे आई एम डॉक्टर अनफिलिक टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू टेक एडमिशन इन कॉलेज ऑफ वेटिनरी साइंस एंड एनिमल हस्बेंड्री ओ यू ए टी भुवनेश्वर इफ यू आर ए स्टूडेंट देन दिस वीडियो इज वेरी मच इन्फॉर्मेटिव टू यू नो मैटर फ्रॉम विथ स्टेट यू आर If you are from Odisha, it's well and good. If you are from any other state of the country, it's equally good. Even if you are from abroad, then also this video is applicable for you. You uh, might be preparing for NEET, AIMS, uh, NIT, whatsoever. It's well and good. But at the same time, you should be knowing about OUAT and veterinary science. Since I'm a student of this college. I hope I can give you very right information regarding this topic. What I feel before going to the topic, you must have something in your mind that OUAT stands for Odisha University of Agriculture and Technology. It has in total nine colleges. They are College of Veterinary Science and Animal Husbandry OUAT Bhubaneswar, College of Agriculture, College of Agricultural Engineering, College of Forestry, Fishery, Horticulture. community science etc if you want to take admission into any of these colleges the admission procedure is more or less similar but not exactly same but today i'll be talking about how to take admission in veterinary college only okay i think it's clear let's talk what are the possible ways to come into the college there are in total six possible ways to come into the college First one is through OUAT Common Entrance Examination. Second one is through VCI, that is Veterinary Council of India. Third one is through special exam conducted for OUAT Polytechnic students only. Fourth one is for foreign students. Fifth one, one seat will be made available for Kashmiri migrants, Hindu family. Uh, sixth one, one seat will be made available for Kashmiri non-migrant Hindu family. or kashmiri pandit okay since most of the students comes through ouat entrance exam uh, let me explain about ouat entrance exam then after i will be talking about all these six ways to come into the college so please be with me uh, watch the video up to the end okay thank you nation let's talk about ouat entrance examination first eligibility for admission it's very important uh, here you can see uh, minimum qualification is same for all the colleges that is plus 2 science or equivalent and 50% minimum marks but for st sc pwd pm triple s they should uh, have at least 40% marks but if you want to take admission into vvscn age Uh, that is veterinary science then the subject combination that you should have is pcb means physics chemistry biology to admission is open to the following categories of candidates who are eligible to take admission at point 1 those who have passed hsc or equivalent examination with odi as mil from any school or institution of odisha there is no need to submit the residential certificate for these candidates i think you got it if you have odi as a mile then no need to submit the residential certificate but many often they ask for residential certificate okay this 2.21 to 2.24 is not applicable for icr vci foreign candidates state government sponsored candidates or children of employee of ouat or jk candidates okay this is the total intake capacity and break up of seats you can see there are two types of seats one is general seat and coaring seats uh, but uh, actually there is one more type of seats that is nri seats i'll be talking about uh, the nri later on so here you can see the bvc in age total 100 seats uh, 15 for vci 4 for sc 5 for st 2 for 2 uh, for uh, gch 2 for pwd 2 for fp and unreserved general seat is 28 total general seat is 58 out of coaring 3 is for sc sc 
5 for ST, 2 for GCH, PWD 2, AFP 1, on this job 29, total cost sharing seat is 42. Okay. Here you can see that VCI 15 percent seats are reserved, SC 8 percent, ST 12 percent, GCH 5 percent, PWD 5 percent, AFP 3 percent. Okay. If you would like to come through uh, green card holder, then this is for you. Uh, if you want to come through PWD, then also you have to submit a certificate from the competent authority. Candidates applying under AFP quota shall produce the original bona fide certificate issued by Rajya Sainik Board, Government of Odisha Bhunesha 2 at the time of counselling and admission, failing which his her admission to AFP category seat will be denied. Okay. Here you can see 3 percent of the seats of total intercapacity is available for foreign candidates uh, being sponsored by ICR, ICCR or uh, other fellowship holders sponsored by any statutory body of government of India, New Delhi uh, through the Indian embassy in their country provided they are eligible according to class 2.1. Okay. Uh, but those candidates which are who, who are not sponsored by uh, ICAR or any other statutory body, they can also take admission, they can directly uh, put application to the university for admission purpose. Here you can see, I think you all know what happened with Kashmiri Pandits. So, this is for them only. One seat will be made available for the children of Kashmiri migrants in each course of agriculture each course, but if you want to take uh, admission in agriculture and you are a Kashmiri migrant, then uh, the campus that you will be allotted is Bhuvaneswar only. Okay. Uh, here you no need to, ex if you are the OUT entrance exam, you will be selected on the basis of class 10th and 12th mark, 50 percent will be taken from class 10th and 50 percent will be taken from class 12th. Uh, this, this is same for uh, one street will be made available for the children of Kashmiri Pandit non-migrants slash Kashmiri Hindu families, non-migrant living in Kashmiri Valley in each course. The selection procedure for these two type of students is same. Here you look at this. Okay. Here you can see 2 percent of the seats in each college is reserved for son and daughter of OUT employee working on cost sharing basis. Okay. If your parents are working in OUT then you are lucky you can take admission without any competition. Here you can see the NRI, I told you earlier that non-resident Indian seat, it is uh, a bit uh, costly as compared to free seat and general seat, but most of the f my, most of my friends uh, have taken admission through NRI. Here you can see total 60 seats are there uh, for NRI, out of 60 uh, College of Veterinary Science and AH, 10 seats, 10 seats are reserved for veterinary science. Okay. If you would like to come through NRI, let us see what do you need to produce. Visa slash proof of permanent resident certificate, passport of sponsor that is parents or relative valid till the last date of the admission. I was talking about NRI, let us talk about agro polytechnic pass out students. Okay. Uh, there are two number of seats for VBAC and AH at College of Veterinary Science and Animal Husband UUT Bhuvaneswar. I mean, two seats are available for agro polytechnic students in veterinary science. Okay, but their selection procedure is a bit different. HSC from HSC, 10 percent will be taken from plus two science, 10 percent will be taken from diploma in agro polytechnic under UUT, 30 percent will be taken from that, and 50 percent will be taken from entrance examination. Okay, total is 100 percent. These are the important events that agro polytechnic students must go through to take admission. Let us talk about selection process, the exam that you will appear that is based on CBT mode, computer based test. Here you will have to appear physics, chemistry, mathematics or biology, physics 66, 66 and math or bio 68, total 100, uh, sorry total 200. Mm. But if you want to take admission in veterinary science, I told you earlier that you must appear physics, chemistry and biology. At the same time, you must have physics, chemistry, bio in plus 2 science. Okay. Uh, selection process is uh, like this, 25 percent will be taken from class 10, 25 percent will be taken from class 12 and 50 percent will be taken from 
एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल एटी परसेंट मार्क्स इन एच एस सी सेवेंटी परसेंट मार्क्स इन फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड मैथमेटिक्स और फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड बायोलॉजी एंड यू हैव स्कोर नाइन्टी पॉइंट फोर फाइव सिक्स परसेंटाइल इन एग्जाम देन वेटेज विल बी एटी टू पॉइंट सेवन टू एट कुड यू गेट इट हाउ इट प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई हंड्रेड इंटू एटी प्लस फिफ्टी बाई हंड्रेड इंटू नाइन्टी पॉइंट फोर फाइव सिक्स दैट्स इक्वल टू एटी टू पॉइंट सेवन टू एट ओके आई होप यू गॉट इट दिस इज द अमाउंट दैट यू हैव टू डिपोजिट फॉर एडमिशन दिस इज फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर ओनली इन नेक्स्ट कंजिक्यूटिव ईयर्स यू नो नीड टू पे सो मच ऑफ अमाउंट द अमाउंट इज वेरी लेस डोंट वरी लेट सी द डॉक्यूमेंट्स दैट यू नीड टू प्रोड्यूस इन काउंसिलिंग few are mandatory and few are not mandatory those which uh, those documents which are not mandatory you need to uh, submit them in a stipulated time period this is the fee structure okay this is about the scholarship still now if you have any doubt you, you can comment me below i will try to answer you otherwise you can mail me uh, in the given mail otherwise uh, you can comment me in, in instagram i will definitely answer you thank you thank you my dear friends